Alright, so this is my Zoom HD, and uh, as you can see, I have some third party apps. Well, I'm not sure if you can see that, but I have some third party apps, so I'll go ahead and open one up right now. Hey, look, it's me. Hi, me. Anyway, so yeah, here's Air Hockey. And it's supposed to be two players, so obviously nothing's really going to happen. Now, so to do this, first of all, you're going to want to make sure your Zoom HD is connected to your computer. Like so. And then make sure the screen is locked. And also, if your Zoom HD software is running, close it. You can't have that on. So there's a few things you're gonna have to download in order for this to work. And uh the first one is C Sharp Express Edition. By the way, I'll have a link to this page in the sidebar with all the links that you'll need. Um so yeah, after you download that, you're gonna have to download XNA Game Studio. And then after that comes the Game Studio extensions for the Zoom. And uh so I'm just gonna download all these now. And so here I'm just gonna install them all one by one. First is the first one downloaded, then install the game studio and then the extensions. So just basically run through the installations. There's nothing really special you need to know about them. Well, now that you have everything installed, um, by the way, this is one of the sites where you can get apps from. That's also on the page that I'll have in the sidebar. Anyways, once you have that installed, you're going to have to go to your Microsoft Game Studio and run the Game Studio Device Center. So you can add your Zune as the device it adds these apps to. Now after that, you can just go ahead and open one of your downloaded apps and it'll put it onto your Zoom. And now I can go ahead over to my Zoom, go to the app I just downloaded and run it and I can play it. This nice third party app installed on my Zoom. I uh, hope you like this tutorial. Again, there's going to be the link in the sidebar with all the links that you need. I'd like to go ahead and uh, thank Zeke over at ZHDApps.com and also just ZHDApps.com in general for all the applications.